as I was saying, my boss was saying something uh, in regards to, like, man, I don't know what's going on, this and that or something. I was like, well, you know what? Uh, Save me after me for a long time, and I'm still here. And I say stuff like that. You know, I say stuff like that to people. You know, like, I, I, it just comes out. It was another another example. Somebody was talking. He's like, man, what's going on today? I'm like, I'm good, you know. God keeps God keeps his hands on me. I'm going to always be good. And so I, sometimes I say that in front of my enemies. It's just, I'm just being real. It's not that I'm trying to be belligerent and something. It's like, I know what you think I don't know. And I'm going to let you know that God got my back. As you can see. You see what I'm saying? Do those things. If you have trust and faith in God, so your enemies. Hey, I'm still standing by the grace of God. What's that song? I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what cartoon it is. But that's how you want to look at it, people. When it's your time to leave this place, when God want to take you away from here, you got to go away from here. But as long as you got the word of God, the armor of God, the knowledge of God, the spirit of God dwelling in your soul, nothing going to be able to touch you until God allows somebody to touch you. You understand? Don't matter what. Don't matter what your enemies throw at your way. Don't matter what they bring to your forefront. Don't matter what. You're going to be okay. Just remember that. God is not going to ever leave you or forsake you. He's never going to leave you or forsake you. But you know what? You got to step into the spiritual process. You got to step into the spiritual process. It's time to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. I know you've been baptized with water. You see, back in the day, I was reading the Acts today, you know, you had to be circumcised and this and that to be saved. Now you all have to do is give your life to God and be Holy Spirit filled and live by his word. You understand? God has made it easy for you to come to him. It's not as hard as it used to be. You ain't got to go sacrifice a sheep or a lamb or a turtle dove or none of those things. You can come straight to him. That's why God said, your sacrifices, I would not take. I will not take up them. Have a blessed day, people. It's time for y'all to get spiritually awake. Have a blessed day.